I am going to go over the process of making your own background images for KMAX. Now if we start, I can demonstrate these background images by going to the standard library. And if you go down here and uh, select a scenario and then look in the preview section, you'll see that the preview shows you a background diagram behind the KMAX controls. And if I were to load this scenario, You have a nice bird's eye view of what this particular test is going to do. Here we have um, a corporate uh, 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 location with IP phones connected to a remote location with a IP phone. Uh, now what you can do is uh, create your own background images and then load them using more import background image. And in order to do this, there are some resources available. If you go into the URL line and select uh, stencils, there are some resources available to help create a stencil. Uh, what you're going to do is select a number of bands in your scenario. Uh, typically, you'll use a scenario with five bands. And uh, this page supplies uh, a stencil, it's a GIF image with transparency, that shows the controls that will be presented by KMAX. And the idea is you save this file and then load it into your graphics package and then draw your background image behind the stencil. Uh, we have um, reference files for Adobe Illustrator and Visio that you can use to help you, and I'll be using the one with Visio. We also have a sample background image, contentserver.png. And so if I were to um, go back to my dashboard and load that sample image, import background image, this is the sample uh, background image that comes with KMAX uh, on that stencils uh, web page. So if we go back to the uh, vanilla scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up uh, Visio and I'm going to open that reference file that we supplied. And in this reference file you'll see a bounding box. It's 2000 pixels by 600 pixels and that's the maximum size of the background image that you can create. And what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, drag and drop the stencil that I downloaded from that KMAX page and we're going to put that in the middle here and then we're going to center these two. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is select the background image, shift select the stencil and then in the home ribbon I'm going to select a line, line horizontal center and then a line vertical middle. Uh, so now they're centered and you always want to keep the stencil centered in the bounding box. Now I'm going to draw my artwork on top of this. Uh, what I'm going to do first is look at the layers. And I've got layer properties here. I've got um, three layers pre-existing in this file. I've got the bounding box, the stencil, and the artwork. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the uh, bounding box and um, also lock the stencil and the stencil is actually on the artwork layer. So let me move that, assign to layer. Uh, first, let me unlock the stencil layer. Then I will assign it to the stencil layer. And then I will go back in and lock the stencil layer. OK, so now we're in the artwork layer. What I'm going to do is um, drag and drop some icon files onto my artwork layer. Now, on that stencils uh, page, we also supply a zip file that contains all of these Cisco icons, which is handy to have. So I can go through here and select, um, for instance, an IP phone. I can drag and drop the IP phone and maybe um, drag and drop like a uh, router. And so maybe I will arrange my background image this way 
And I'll zoom in. Oh. Copy this IP phone over here. And then maybe um, draw some connections. I can increase the weight. And also maybe add arrows. What I can do is, um, oops, copy and then paste the arrow and reuse it here. And then copy and paste it again. And I have a nice uh, network. So that's my network diagram. Okay, now that I've gotten to this point, what I'm going to do is um, first scale down the bounding box. So what I'm going to do is in layers, layer properties for the bounding box, I will make that selectable. Uh, we don't need the stencil anymore, so we can make it invisible. And what I'm going to do is select the bounding box. Now I want to scale it down so that it just encompasses my artwork, and I want to scale it down so that it scales relative to its center point. And to do that, select the bounding box, and then for pin pause, select center, center, then manually uh, enter numbers to scale down the bounding box until it just encompasses your artwork with a decent margin there. In width and height, Uh, so that's good. So now that um, I've scaled it down, what I want to do is with just the bounding box and the artwork showing, file, um, export, change file type, PNG, save as, and then I'll save as um, out background. And then select non interlace and then screen and screen so it just does a straight pixel mapping with no scaling or change in the resolution okay i'm going to save that then i'm going to go back to the kmax interface and i will import background image and select my out.bg and then we have a um, background image loaded behind my control. So now I can use the KMAX controls and I can also see the uh, background image with a nice bird's eye view of my test network. And then I can export this scenario and it will wind up being exported as a YAML file. Now when I save this YAML file, inside this YAML file will be a link to the background image which will always be preserved on the server. So I could go to a different machine with a different browser and load this scenario and the uh, browser would be able to display the background image that's saved on the server.